Sometimes in our lives we all have pain we all have sorrow but if we are wise we know that there's always tomorrow lean on me when you're not strong i'll be your friend i'll help you Somebody to lean, lean on. Good afternoon. I am so very excited to join everyone virtually today for this Sparking STEAM event. I really miss seeing and interacting with our PWCS students, and I'm eager to talk with you a little bit about STEAM. Before I start, I want to share how much our teachers, principals, counselors, bus drivers, food service providers, nurses, custodians, finance personnel, bookkeepers, and other staff miss each and every one of you every day. I'm proud of the efforts you are making to stay home and stay safe and participate in at-home learning. I assure you that we will get through this pandemic and things will resume as normally as possible just as soon as possible. I'll stop here to share that I will be taking a few questions today, so feel free to post those in your Q&A box. This unprecedented pandemic being experienced by our world, our country, and our community has provided me with some valuable insights on science, technology, engineering, art, and math. During this very difficult time, STEAM careers and opportunities have been exemplified actually more than ever. For example, think about the scientists racing to find a vaccine for the coronavirus or developing new testing. I read an article recently that stated there are about 70 candidate vaccines in development by scientists and labs from across the world. Three of those vaccines are being used in clinical trials with humans. It is really exciting to think that the education experience and hard work of one or more of these scientists will lead to a vaccine with the potential of saving millions of lives. That's a great reason to explore STEAM career opportunities. I will take a question now, Diana. Do you have any questions from our audience? Yes, Emily has asked, once the virus has passed, will we go back to school? So we actually have a stay at home order until June 10th. And uh, shortly thereafter, if all goes as planned, we're gonna have a day that you can come back up to your schools, get all your personal belongings. And uh, hopefully if everything goes well, we'll also have our normal summer school and uh, return in the fall. Let's also talk about our doctors, nurses, and first responders who are emerging as the world's superheroes during this pandemic. They are working multiple shifts, many times spending very little or no time with their families. They are tired and frustrated, but they're not defeated. They've implemented their, implemented their education, training and experience, as well as relationships with fellow health care providers to investigate various ways to treat patients with COVID-19 virus and save lives. They remain motivated by the many good news cases in which patients are recovering. Technology and engineering are crucial for communication and problem solving during this pandemic. With almost everyone working and learning remotely, technology is the one thing that actually brings us together through social media, which is another way we are communicating, I have witnessed the happiness experienced by our teachers when they see their students' faces through a virtual session. Technology allows us to talk to our friends and family members, as well as keep up with the latest developments with the coronavirus. Diana, do you have another question from our students? Yes, I have a couple. Um, the first one is, uh, 
can we ever get back into the school to get the stuff out of our lockers? And then the second one is, are there any plans to have a live graduation or postpone graduation? So again, when the stay at home order is lifted, um, which is supposed to be June 10th, we will organize a day when students can come up to the school and get all their personal belongings. And just so you know, until then, they're all safely locked away. And as to graduation, we certainly hope that we can have a postponed graduation ceremony for each and every one of our high school students in their respective schools. So we have to kind of see how this pandemic uh, evolves over the next few weeks, but uh, we're already talking about a postponed date. So as soon as we have that information, we'll post it on all our social media platforms. I'm really proud to see the PWCS students and staff members using technology and engineering to solve problems during the pandemic. Students from Forest Park and Colgan High Schools and a teacher from Woodbridge High School are using 3D printers to create face shields and masks for healthcare providers and others serving on the front lines right here in Prince William County. Students from the Governor's School, uh, Forest Park High School and Osborne Park High School are giving away free refurbished computers through free and accessible technology. And you can get that link, it's fati.io. Again, that's fati.io. They put their engineering and technology skills to work to help solve a critical problem in our community. These are only two examples of the many, many community members that are reaching out to help each other. This is another great example of how STEAM positively impacts our world. Another question from the audience? Uh, Dr. Waltz, have you tried a new hobby or learned a new skill during this pandemic and during this quarantine? Well, I've got to say one of my favorite things I'm uh, working on is expanding my cooking skills a little bit. And the favorite thing I've come up with is avocado toast. So uh, you mash up the avocado, you put in a piece of toast, put butter on it, spread the mashed avocado and stick a uh, soft boiled egg or hard boiled egg on, or not hard boiled, but an over easy egg on top of that. Absolutely delicious. The importance of expression through art has also come to the forefront during this pandemic. From inspirational messages scribbled with colored chalk on the sidewalks and driveways to choirs harmonizing virtually, art has given many of us a place to demonstrate our feelings during this time. Students at Coles Elementary School recently performed Peter Pan virtually after the pandemic closed our schools. Several months of rehearsals paid off when students were finally able to share their performance with family and friends via a private YouTube channel. During this pandemic, I encourage each of you to discover an area of the arts to explore, such as dancing, acting, singing, drawing, painting, playing an instrument, or writing. You might find an enjoyable distraction to the stress associated with the pandemic. And how about a final question, Diana? Dr. Waltz, I heard that we were going to get laptops to have at home. Do you know anything about when those might be passed out? So we did a survey uh, starting with our high school students and uh, I'm not sure if it's gone beyond that, but we started already with a distribution to our seniors, to any household that needs one. And as soon as that's completed in the next few days, we'll start with uh, juniors and we'll continue rolling that out. We also have over 15,000 uh, laptop devices on order. And then uh, earlier I mentioned the organization that you can get a free refurbished uh, computer. Finally, you may wonder how math plays into this equation of STEAM. Math is going to be the key in determining when we can come back to school and when we can begin to experience a sense of normalcy again. Each state, each county, each city is keeping track of this pandemic through the numbers of reported positive cases of COVID-19 virus, as well as testing. As you have probably heard, one very important way to reduce the spread of the virus is to stay home. 
Physical distancing and good hand washing measures also play a key role in reducing new cases of the virus. So we are all closely watching the numbers and hoping those numbers begin to decrease, which means less people getting sick and we can begin to experience that sense of normalcy again. Before I introduce our next presenter, I wanna share that although we are going through a difficult time, there are so many people working collaboratively to navigate these uncharted waters. It's been inspiring to see stories of neighbors helping neighbors, students helping our community, and scientists and doctors working together to save lives. Through the collective efforts of the brightest minds, we will prevail. I can't wait to see you when our school buildings reopen. Hey Steve, while we're waiting for schools to reopen, let's give away some more prizes. Here we have some ear pods and we have beats. Here are the 11 winners for the ear pods. Congrats winners, check your emails for more info. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna hand it back over to Steve. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Patrick Picasso Hunter. Picasso is one of the nation's leading live performance painters. His background as an artist and an engineer makes him a STEM ambassador and one that visits classrooms and boardrooms to challenge creative problem solving through art fusion, STEM to STEAM. A native of Detroit, Hunter holds a bachelor's degree in computer science from the University of Michigan and has worked 13 years in the IT industry. He travels the world as an artist and visual thinking consultant with a web series in pre-production, Full Steam with Picasso, with target, which targets girls and kids of color using STEM plus arts. Welcome, Picasso. This is a public service announcement. Fellow Americans, it is with the utmost pride and sincerity that I present this recording as a living testament and recollection of history in the making during our generation. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is DJ Steady Rock, what's up? Everybody at home, y'all can get with us too. Why don't y'all dance with us? Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like. Here comes the. Here comes the. Oh, here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like. DJ Steady Rock. Yo, so so happy to be here representing STEAM. You know, the arts world and the science world have never been separated. So it's great that we get to celebrate that in this event. Um, I paint Einstein because he had a quote that I love, which is, you can't solve problems in the same way that we created them. We got to look at problems differently. And so obviously changing the orientation, sometimes we got to look at the problem differently. Um, Einstein is one of my favorite innovators, along with people like George Washington Carver, because they were, they were not only innovators and scientists, but they were artists as well. George Washington Carver was an artist. He drew. He actually went to school for art first before becoming a scientist and finding a lot of innovations in the world from soybeans to peanuts. Whereas Einstein was a classically trained, classically trained violinist, and he would often turn to the violin when he was struggling to solve a problem. So, you know, I love, I love bringing the arts into the equation because it's a language that we all speak and it also speaks to the world of science. So whether we're talking about music from DJ Steady Rock, we can look at it from a musical standpoint, but we could also look at the mechanics that goes behind building a stern table to the way that producers have to look at wavelengths and beats per second. So I'm excited to be able to speak to this. I encourage you all to find the arts that inspire you, whether dance to music, and think a little bit creatively of how can those worlds help to inspire and teach you a little bit about the science and engineering worlds behind it. So with that, I thank you. Thank you, DJ Steady Rock, and to all the sponsors uh, that made this happen, Walmart, to all of the people that work tirelessly behind the event, and I pass it to Lena. Wow, that was awesome. Let's give a virtual clap for Mr. Patrick Hunter, a.k.a. Picasso, and DJ Steady Rock. This is an example of how entertainment meets the arts in STEAM. That presentation was fire. I mean, like, what else could you expect? Oh, my bad. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena Gooden. I attend Osborne Park High School. Um, well, I used to, but now since COVID-19, I attend school at home like everyone else. I'm here to add some student excitement, spice, and flavor to the program. Well, okay, enough about me. Let's keep the excitement going and announce some more winners. Here are the next 11 virtual STEAM winners. There are some really cool prizes here. I mean, congratulations, winners. I mean, who wouldn't want behind me a, a virtual robot making and kit and code making kit. I mean, it's just too good to be true. Congratulations winners, check your, pri check your emails for additional info on your prizes. Now, I have a super awesome surprise for all of you phenomenal Prince William County School students and parents. With us today, we have the founder of the Code with Clossy STEM Camp, fashion icon, Victoria's Secret supermodel, host of Project Runway, and super STEM woman, Carly Claus. 
Hi everyone, my name is Carly Kloss and I am so excited to virtually drop in and welcome the students and parents of the Prince William County School System to the Sparkling STEAM event. Welcome! As a student, I loved math and science, but I didn't learn how to code in school. As my career in fashion progressed, I became curious about the technology that was transforming the fashion industry and the entire world. So I took my first coding class and was instantly hooked. I learned that code is a super dynamic and creative skill set, and at its core, it's a language. That realization helped me to start Code with Classy, a nonprofit that teaches young women to learn how to code for free every summer. Code allows us to have a voice and a say in our future, and I'm so excited that all of you have a chance to partake in today's STEAM virtual challenge. I hear there are many more events planned in the future and a special STEAM challenge and prizes for today. So enjoy. That was unbelievable. We were hanging out with the fashion icon and STEM enthusiast, Carly Kloss. Can you believe it? I know I can't. I hope you all are tweeting this everywhere. Hashtag awesome. Hashtag PWCS STEM. Hashtag sparking STEAM at Carly Kloss, of course. All right, it's that time again. Prizes. Here are 11 winners for today. These are our final winners for today. Look at all the prizes that I have behind me. These are real prizes that we have. Congratulations winners once again. And if you see your name on this list, please check your email for additional info on how you can receive your prize. Now, I would like to tell you a bit about myself. I am a Prince William County student, like I said before, just like all of you. I'll be a sophomore in the fall at OP. As you know, these times can be challenging for everyone. So it is important to stay busy. Like most of you, I have a passion. Mine is track. I love running. I'm a member of my track team at school and on a, clap, on a club track team, Dale City Lightning Track Club. I qualified for track nationals this year, but unfortunately it was canceled due to, to the circumstances. So I must train at home, which has been hard and difficult trying to stay motivated. But working out and being distracted from the situation has been enough motivation to keep going. Also, I haven't really seen my friends in over a month, which is tough. I mean, it is. So I FaceTime every day, but it can still be difficult. But this is our new normal. We must stay socially engaged to get through this time. Social media is also great to stay in touch because I know that you miss your friends just like I do but make sure that you're safe with it. Make sure that you are on a secure social platform and practice careful habits. In these times, people are trying to take advantage of us at home. So just be careful by securing all of your accounts. Another way I stay busy is through art. Art is very helpful to relieve stress and express yourself. I have also been doing home improvement DIYs around the house with my parents which has been good for practicing my engineering slash building skills and my math skills. STEAM is calling all of your names to use it and be productive during this time. Also, don't forget, you're probably never really bored because your Prince William County teachers have been working so hard at sending out exciting learning activities for all of you. So I just wanted to take this time and thank all of our teachers. And I didn't forget our parents, of course, Thank you for inspiring our children, and I encourage you to continue to do so. Well, enough about me. Now I want to prompt all of you to participate in our virtual STEAM challenge. Show us a 90 second video on how you are being involved in STEAM during this time and how you're just having fun with it. You know, be creative. Do whatever you want. We are also giving away prizes for this, just like the Nintendo Switch behind me. Go to sparkingsteam.com for more info. Submissions start today, so you might as well just get started. And may I say, overall, I think that this has been a pretty good event. I mean, we got to hang out with some amazing people. I hope that this inspired all the young minds out there. We're also proud to announce some STEAM events coming up in the future. Introduce a girl to engineering in August, a cybersecurity event in October, and many more to come. So be on the lookout for those. 
Finally, I would like to wrap things up by thanking our sponsor, Walmart. Thank you. We, we couldn't have done it without you. And of course, I have to give a shout out to our Sparking Steam Core members. Thank you for all your support, which is Don Davis, Denise Hebner, Kelsey Moran, and we also have Miss Rojas, as well as Carly Kloss, Patrick Hunter, and you know him as the one, the only, the GOAT, Steve Waltz. So thank you so much. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go and leave and code right now. So it's been good with you. Thank you.